Welcome to my floor, I'm Luna and I play games here sometimes. And I just want to keep exploring the new part! Oh no, I got the... Eh. Hopefully we get to find you to um, run around with Mam and... Keep the name. Also add her into the, the parties. So we will be like a date. Running around with Mam. There we are. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Let's start this thing. Apparently it started without me trying, so. Hey, you. Yes, you. You blithering idiot. What are you doing dragging your feet for? Waiting for us all to get old? Why in the blazes aren't all these boxes already on the ship? The dude they call idiot. <laughs> so mean, but also really funny. <laughs> the dude they call idiot. <laughs> Poor dude. I'm just gonna call you dude now. Your your name is dude. I will I will be nice. <laughs> no, Buzz, it just... These play boxes are way too heavy. If we lug them all up, I think the ship might... Might what? This is treasure here. Treasure! You're gonna leave profit on the ground like that? But if we load everything on board, plus ourselves, I don't think the boat can hold all that weight. What is my... Sorry. I double-checked this before, but the... The thing is not comfortably sitting. There we go. I don't think the boat can hold all that weight. Ha. Ah, that's an easy one. If we just leave a couple of you here on, on this island, we can bring all the treasure back now, can't we? My god, that's mean. Oh, a cunning plan, boss. But wait, I'm one of those people you're you're taking with you, right? I don't want to get captured by those golems. You've seen what happens to anyone they catch. Golems. I'm assuming it's not the traditional golem. Don't stop yapping and start moving. If the Dark Lord's lackeys catch up, we're all done for. I'm sorry, the Dark Lord? This is the Demon King? What are we talking about here? What is happening? Dark Lord Lackeys? Are they putting on some kind of show? Wait, boss, there's people over there. Come on, why don't we go ask them? <coughs> Oi, you. Yeah, you big one and the tiny thing. What are you skulking over there for? Uh oh, we're in trouble. Not leaving it. What are you saying? Anyway, we should talk to them first. Yes, obviously. There will be no senseless murder in this place. Oh my god, there's a cat! Hi! You had a nice necklace. I think I saw something about a cat in the... the thingy. But yes. Uh, I think I'm... Hmm, from the look of you, you must be foreigners. And here I thought you were minions of the Dark Lord Thief. Wait, isn't that the old king? Am I remembering that correctly? Ah. Um, I thought that was the king anyway. Um. This is Moan and Paimon's Paimon. How many times has that been said in this game? I wonder. And you're right, we're travelers. Oh, but who's this Dark Lord Remus now? Has he finished playing his part already? <laughs> you don't even know who the Dark Lord is? Is it Voldemort? Because that's the only Dark Lord I know. Alright, I get it. I suppose it's up to me to educate you, oh, ignorant outlanders. As you know, this was once a peaceful town. In those days, it was not just yet named Petricor. I'm gonna switch the name then. <laughs> okay. Is it like a... Like a... To, like... I'm thinking about 
Harry Potter again, but like Perticus Tetalus, right? It's like uh, it makes you turn you into stone, right? Is that where why it's Petricor? We Fontanians lived here in peace and safety until the golden armies of the Dark Lord reigned. He was an awful tyrant, one who claimed to be the ruler of all waters. His forces had already obliterated countless time, towns and cities before driving at odds. He took our lands, polluted the sources of pure water, and, he, and even tried to use music to tempt us. I mean, ooh. music is a powerful thing. <laughs> they raised high bell towers and fortresses, and the Dark Lord's fell melody enslaved our kind. But we, Fontanians free, rejected his rule. Thus did I and the warriors under my command march to war across all across the land. Sorry, how old are you exactly? Because I feel like you weren't there. Ooh, nice world building, very detailed. And then, and then, what happened next? How did you defeat the Dark Lord? The Dark Lord's golems are each mighty beyond measure. How can we be their match? Still, we had the aid of Est, the quick-witted this time. With his aid, we infiltrated the Dark Lord's fell key and reclaimed the treasures he had his minions. He and his minions plundered from us spontaneous. Like the boss said, um, this is what we're doing again. Oh yeah, this. Disrupting the special military maneuvers being conducted by the Dark Lord's re legions. Totally brilliant perhaps plan. You are the protagonist of your play, and yet you aren't up on <laughs> you aren't on the up and up. When does this Dark Lord take the stage? Huh. Do you think we've been lugging uh treasure we'd still be lugging treasure if we showed up? Like, uh, as not, we'd all have been turning the golems all Just like Est probably was. Est the pitiful now, more like. Wow, he totally helped you. You guys left him behind and ran away. Are you sure you guys aren't the baddies? Baddies don't get to be the protagonist. I mean, they kind of do, but that's a different question in this case. What do you mean, protagonist? Take the stage. Boy, from where I'm standing, it, it's looking like you're really his minions, just dressed up as foreigners. I can tell from all you are blabbering on and got performances in place. Huh? And you guys aren't putting on a performance? Huh, so you won't fed up, fess up unless we char you first, eh? Let's get on, boys. Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead and try. We aren't so easily defeated, I'm afraid. You guys aren't you from the Adventure Guild? Those are the clothes you normally... Who are you and why do you shine? Sorry. The thieves who were beating so badly they couldn't spare even a, even a thought for the treasure fled on their boats. There they go, huh? Guess they weren't acting after all. But what was this treasure they were talking about? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Dark Lord this. Dark Lord's keep Dark Lord's keep that. No oh, wait, I know that's real. Why don't we have we have a look at the treasure? Eh? But we don't know where this stone came from. I'm on expressing this interest in treasure. Say it isn't so. My one's just worried that, well, if, well, just in case there's some kind of evil dark lordy trap in it. Oh, I guess there's no dissuading you. But please be careful, okay? Da, 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 da. Yes, we will be careful. And as it so happens, there were no traps inside the container of the evil dark lordy variety or otherwise. But there was 
no valuable treasure, treasure within either. Within was naught but heavy shards of shattered stone. Hm. Well, we knew there were just a bunch of swords. There's no treasure at all. Or is this shabby statue excuse for statue? Some kind of priceless artifact? It does look kind of cool. Hmm. Let's go to Petri Court and ask around. Maybe it's some kind of... Huh. And Mark or mascot or something. Apparently, I won't stop yawning today. As for these, these treasures, the... Hey, Lauren, you are we having a vision? We are. How unforgettable the Ortu Orge. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Overflowing with fruit, and I know. Hello. Who are you? Emperor. Emperor. You look like a statue. A dream? So you're finally awake, Imperator. This day is one of great import. Today we shall sound the great symphony. Phobos. Oh, I recognize that word. Where is that from? I thought it might be Greek. Some, something in, uh, like, in classical Greek thing. Is it? I don't know. There is yet time for the ritual imperator, but we should set out to have had a dream. A dream imperator? I did not know the gods could dream. In that case, what did you dream of? In the great plains beyond the north wind? The silver tree beneath the frozen soil? Or did you see that golden future that you once showed me? I saw the sea swallowing the earth. Ooh. Sea swallowing the earth. Or did you see that golden f the, the children of white stone and brass sea? This the like what transpired with the prophecy? Is this is this how the prophecy started? The collapse of all that was once radiant. That prophecy, then, Emperor. It is precisely to prevent it from happening, to fight against the inevitable fate that we are here today. Just as you say, we have paid too much for it. But once we are free of fate's shackles, those sacrifices shall not have been in. Ooh. Fortunas. Free of Fortunas shackle. Madonna. Um, in this I have, faith, have had faith ever since I accepted his body and became a Remurian. That definitely has to do with Remus. Apologies, Emperor. Forgive my lack of manners. In any case, please come with me. What is happening? Oh, I love this. The floor is all shiny. This has to be the past, right? We're having a vision of the past. But why can we have this vision from a statue? How is this working? I'm... I am confused. Though you bestowed undying bodies upon the people, allowing humanity to fear the tides of the depths nevermore, our souls are still bound by the shackles of fruit. The burden of fate is not something mortal souls can bear, but Phobos shall weave the path of fate on our behalf, leading us forward on the path of justice. The melody of the symphony will flow through the waters to the high sea, and soon Remoria, though all of humanity, will be freed from the unspeakable of fate, welcome and an eternal utopia of future. And then, one day, the people will no longer need the guidance of Phobos, and all will be able to play their own symphony. What are those? Remus. They were so cute, but also those look like our like the stars, right? The the primos almost. Remus, you once said that you would create a future free from the shackles of divine destiny. Yet your realm now lies violently shattered, and the 
chasm you tried to bridge has grown deeper still. The immortal race you created and the peoples of the waters are slaughtered one have, are slaughtering one another. Now, <clears throat> this so-called eternal city, too, faces imminent collapse. I love the... Is it like bioluminescent algae in the sky? You cannot control your own creation. The symphony has brought neither justice nor happiness, but instead has become the source of all sin. Okay. Though their flesh and blood have been thundered from water and soil, the lost souls guide them upon the path of inevitable death nonetheless. The curse of Fortuna is upon your people and upon you. I know that, like, wasn't Fortuna also, like, one of the goddesses in... Uh, Roman... Uh, things? Roman... Um... Mythology? Might be wrong, though. Also, I love that the... Like, I'm so curious about who's speaking, because, like, is it now the same person as... Who was speaking before the person that looked like a statue or is this like celestia or something do you still remember our promise this is our last resort as long as the symphony is played is this the only way you usurper lords of humanity know how to atone after bringing things to ruination Still, your resolve, at least, does not shame your kingly crown. And a promise was made indeed. Therefore, allow me to bear witness. O king, cursed by fate, drown thyself in song, wine, and feet. The day of judgment has not yet come. I am curious. Go on! Please, wake up! That would be so weird, though, if, like, your friend just, like, randomly did that. Like, it's obviously not the first time. It'd be creepy. It'd be scary. I... just now. Oh, you scared me to death one. You... Hello, Tezuk. Welcome, welcome. Also, that is adorable. Is that Mudkip? Uh, so cute. Ah, I'm waving. Um, is me just? <laughs> you have so many cute ones. I just I don't even know what to say about them. Ah, okay. So many cute little things. You just suddenly completely stopped moving and started staring at the statue, like you were a statue yourself. I thought you'd been turned into stone by the Dark Lord's evil curse. I had a strange daydream. Is it a daydream if it's not? There's something with that cat. Um, if you have no control over it at all? There isn't really a curse, is there? Um, are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry for making you work. As long as you're not hurt. Yeah, we should definitely go to Peshbikor first. The Mudkip is from a gifted sub. Ah, lovely. That's amazing. I approve. <laughs> I'm making everything fall. That's fine, I'll deal with that afterwards. <laughs> we will go and talk to the petrified people. Maybe. Canticles of Harmony... something. Go talk to the people. Hello. Lore Dan. Do you have some lore? Yeah, I'm clumsy. I honestly am always clumsy. It's not just tonight, but uh, kind of always. How do you, do you have some lore for us, Dan? Oh, there, citizen. If you require shelter, simply head to the bell tower in the city center. These savages have been getting all bold and uppity lately, so be on your guard. Egg. Uh, yeah. I need a buff Geo in my party for this. Okay. I'm gonna check that I have someone. 
I think I have Ito on my team at the moment, so maybe I but maybe I should switch to uh Noeru so I have someone who heals. <laughs> um Okay. And you are? Loritus Vicinitus I am under the auxilia of my Machimos The strongest yield, yes. Third. So long as there we are here, we shall suffer no despicable invaders to step within the city walls. Oh, okay. City walls? Where'd they come from? Hmm? Are we not within our defensive walls as we speak? Uh no, not really. Oh wait, I see. You're testing me. Why? Just as Dominus Bohesius once said, the mighty legions are the true walls of the Empire. Lovely. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, I have a I have a strong. I have a strong one. Yes, go get dinner. Please eat. Always always prioritize that. It's very necessary. I will be here when you get back. It's not an issue. You are a question mark. Hello, question mark. Welcome, travelers, oh traverses of the dreamscape. I guess we are traverses of dreamscapes, but how would you know that? I am the bell ringer at the intersection clock tower. The guide that welcomes travelers to the eternal city. Oh joy, more well building, eh? So, Valiant Guardian, shall we find the Eternal City to our left or our right? Wait, you in character already? Yes, yes, I'm used to this. I do D&D. &D. Just jump straight into character, it's all good. Are you sure you're okay? Um, leaving that aside for now. All the townspeople we ran into on the way over here were acting really weird. Do you know what that's all about? Why, everyone has gone to... Makimos already. I imagine they not dwell under the protection of the Sebas. They now dwell under the protection of the Sebas. Okay. Wow, so in addition to the Dark Lord Remus, we now got a Sebastos? This is getting more complicated by the minute. That's kind of what I'm feeling too. Dark Lord Remus. It would appear that in your journey you have crossed paths with those uncouth barbarians. I do think this is a fun choice of word, like sp specifically barbarians. Because we in the past, uh, like the, the origin of the wor word is simply non-Romans, and this seems to be very much based on Rome. So barbarians is for once and accurate descriptions. It's non-Romans. <laughs> but otherwise it's not. It's not a good word for to use for people. Hmm. That is indeed a blasphemous title with which they besmirched the Sebastus Remus or Mighty Emperor Imperator. Oh, then they're both the same Remus. They're the same person after all. But it is of no consequence. The Sebastos may not be defined by the narrow notions of the trivial tribal mob. Those despicable insects may speak slander as they wish, but the wise, inspired by his noble his noblest ideals, will yet come forth in their droves. You are very extra, my dear. When the bell of eternity tolls, all that has ever come to pass shall be erased, and all will be reborn, regardless of who they are and where they are from. Be grateful and rejoice. Praise be. What shall we do, Luan? This person sure seems lucid, but the stuff he's counting is all kinds of whack. You think we got a sleep sleepwalker here? Maybe he's screaming. I think we go up to the bell and just knock on it. Do you name me a dreamer? <laughs> Who knows, we could be the ones dreaming. Honestly, in this game, we could be. <laughs> no way, that's impossible. Um, at least, we probably aren't. Dreaming? I oh, certainly... Uh, okay? Are you okay? Hey, you... 
Uh oh, he's all cold. Travelers from outside. Halt. Excellent. You two look completely mentally sound. Yeah, thanks. I I don't know how much completely, but I try my best. Finally, a normal person. Seriously, what's going on in this town? Before that, let's get this gentleman somewhere safe. Not believing him lying here, can we? So catch a cold. Though the risk of catching a cold may not be the most important thing right now, you still work together for, with a normal person to move the incoherently rambling bellowinger onto a nearby bench. That's not gonna make him not catch a cold. See, they keep... Oh, that's Esther. Um, they keep focusing on the cats. God is in the picture so much, and I think I remember something from the version update video. Anyway, allow me to reintroduce myself. Call me Esther. I'm a member of the town's daydream club. Okay. I'm the only member present right now, though. Well, it's Paimon, and he's glad. Clear. Awesome adventures. Adventures, you say? You're not here to look for that castle or whatever, are you? Wait, introduce yourself as Esther. You've heard that name before. It was you who brought the bandits into the Dark Lord's castle, is it not? Uh, what? So, you also... No, no, no. We're wide awake. Trust us. We just don't get why everyone's saying all sorts of crazy things. You tell us about how you met and drove the bandits who saw the shattered stones that stretch away, away outside town. Oh, it's them. Oh, where to begin? The legend of the faded castle has never been a secret. Adventurers just like them come by looking for it every once in a while. And whenever it's because the impression of the name Golden Troop conjures up is nothing more than poetic imagery, or because the castle was built millennia ago. It's more likely than not nothing of value there now. Oh, it's the bird I keep seeing. I'm like, what's moving at the edge? It's the bird. It's a little bird. Um. Yeah, but like, finding an old civilization would be cool, though. Like, that'd be so Awesome. Um, yeah, but uh, as, would they ever listen? Of course not. No sooner had I brought them over to the ruins in the mountains than they began destroying statues and stuffing them into boxes like people possessed. I could not stop them alone, so I went back to town to get help. I never imagined I'd find nothing but day stairs and band ramblings all around. Like everyone is falling under some hypnotic spell. The Daydream Club has researched hypnosis, hypnosis before. But something like this is far, far beyond our capabilities. My hypothesis is that something abnormal has occurred within the ruin. According to the records. <laughs> Actually, why are we the only ones not affected? Interesting. Most interesting. Perhaps we can find a solution in the ruins? Why don't you wait here, Esther? Leave the adventuring to us. If you come too, you might get turned into a golem. Oh, is that your cat, Esther? He's so cute! No, the, the fellow who studied hypno hypnotism. Hypnotism. Hip hip. Why is this word so hard? <laughs> hypnotism would say that they are creatures with keen senses. <sighs> How odd. That, um, color? Pendant? I could swear I've seen that accessory before. It almost looks like the stars again. Oh, it ran off. Anyway. I'm doing. Oh, he ha ha. Apparently, it's a lot of this today. Sorry. Ignoring the cat question for now. We should still go to the ruins first and have a look. Say, Esther, how can we get there? The ruins? Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry. I swallowed weird. Um, the mountains behind town, behind behind town. So just hap just so happens to be the exact direction that Cat ran off in. 
Hihi, <laughs> kitty cat. Hihi. 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 Hehe. Juan. Hihi, are you okay? Yes, just cat. Things are pretty murky right now. Take extra can. You too, alright? We'll be right back, don't you worry. <laughs> There's a shiny this way, there is. Where? Where oh where art, art thou, my pretty shiny? Uh, rather compare thee to summer's day. Thou art more temperate. Something, something. <laughs> That's as much as I remember. Ooh, look at that! Fancy. That's definitely Gollum. Wow, the statue can move! That it can. No, I do. It's going to I forgot that I had her on that one. But I still haven't been able to level up because I haven't done this, so that's... It's probably from this anyway. I got a new wood! <laughs> oh, nice. Not bad, not bad. Your valor would not know shame. Even should it stand in the company of the Dark Juice Hunters of old. Well, it's a rare shiny cat. Yeah, because like a talking animal we've met before. We've seen a whole lot of strange things on our journey. Even so, a glowing talking cat. I don't suppose it still makes the rare list. Glowing cat. One such as I... One just such as I shall not dwell on being called a strange thing. O oh, chosen champions, Juan and Paimon, the time has come for true heroes such as ye to step forth. It should be thee though, right? But they didn't know how to spell the... They have, didn't have a letter for the... The... The sound. The H sound. You're, you're, you keep getting water symbols. Okay. Hydro, I mean. Come with me unto the ancient. Okay, I'm gonna give them a, a different voice. Two different colored eyes, too. Beauty. Come with me into the ancient kingdom of the deep seas. We must still the chaotic symphony if we are to save the lost soul. Uh, is this also part of the world building, too? Um, could it be like. One of the Yai Publishing House's novels? The ones with the He was our champion in the last life, but he only inherited the memories kind of plot. Speaking of, um, just who are you? Must I start from the beginning? Very well. Well, very well. Well, uh, Orandis of Oranopolis is my name. A spirit keep of the ancient realm. Oran. Oran High School Host Club. Sure. Uh, or, 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 ah, uh, what beneath the us of the where now? Oh, what a tongue twister. I was just gonna call you Oski for short. That's close enough, right? What do you think? Huh? No. Ow, ow. Hmm. It appears that I cannot command this body as I wish, to the extent that bestial behavior may even overbear me from time to time, if from the beginning I could only have. <clears throat> as the two of you can see, the boundaries between past and present have begun to blur, thanks to the influence of the chaotic symphony. It is for this reason that I too have been awoken. For now, the affected area is yet small. The inhabitants of Petricor have their souls taken have had their souls taken away. Well that's not just like a casual Monday night, is it? 
The inhabitants of Petagor has had their souls taken away. They exist in that maddened, dreamlike state because the symphony has temporarily granted them identities. Fill the void left behind. Okay, so. Find the souls. Bring them back. Yes? Stop the symphony? It is as if a vessel filled with pure water has had its contents replaced with wondrous wine. An apt description, considering that these are memories of ancient history gifted by the symphony. Well, like plain one think. So what you're saying is that the townspeople of Pentricorn have had their souls stolen, and then their bodies have been possessed? Oh, this is super scary. You said that the affected area isn't very large yet. That is correct, Loran. Of course, eventually even the Court of Fontaine will be consumed if the chosen hero cannot restore harmony to the, cha the chaotic mem melody. Memory! Melody. Okay. <laughs> no choice but to take a look. Yeah, all right then. I'll see. Lead the way. Thank you so much. The road to the ancient realm lies beneath the spring you see before you. I have a course of seal on the hidden path to maintain. Next, I shall activate the device that maintains this. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Cute. So cute. Big stretch shoot lasers, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. Now then. Help me retrieve the harp strings. I shall thus be able to break the seal and open the way. Do we play some music? Do we touch it? I they never explain what we're supposed to do with these things, do they? Now then, let us go on to the faded castle of gold. A faded golden cast. Hmm. Esther mentioned something about the legend of the faded ca castle too, right? Are we talking about these ruins? Nay, nay. These are but scraps on the surface. The true castle lies deeper, the water. Mm, you sure do know much more than the cats in town, huh, Ozzy? You compare me to the cats in town? But <laughs> follow closely and try not to get lost then. Well, he just jumped down. And cats swim? Yes, but they tend not to particularly enjoy it. I get the this one then. <gasps> There's this big ass stone sword. Can I use this? Can I pick it up and use it as mine? That'd be cool. Okay, down we go. Down we go. Somewhere down anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Something like these statues are staring at us. They won't suddenly attack us, will they? Difficult to say. Perhaps the golem you defeated earlier climbed up from here. That's just terrifying. Is it too late to swim back now? Uh, yeah, considering I'm not even steering this, I'd say it's too late. Jeez. I love these underwater ruins. They're very cool. That being said, I don't think I like going to them in real life. I think they'd probably be kind of terrifying, but in game they're great. <laughs> huh. I didn't think there'd be such a huge space down below. Guess you do know your stuff, Ossie. This is but the tip of the iceberg. Once an entire nation and the land upon which it was spilled sank beneath the waves. Atlantis! Is this based on Atlantis? Which I guess would make sense with Greek then, but also how does that fit with Rome? Anyway. And my mission is to pre prevent that which has sunk from resurfacing. Or so I believe. Oof, and just like that, you suddenly lost. Uh, you seem a lot less reliable. I wish I had a reliable guide. <laughs> In that case, leave the guiding to Paimon. Well, that's what Paimon would like to see anyway. I think the, the, the jab was at you too, Paimon. <laughs> anyway, 
We are the sole arbiters of whether the souls of the townsfolk can, folk can safely with the bodies or not. So eyes up now. The faded cast castle is just through those the great gate. Let us continue on. Yes, explore this Atlantis place. What's now? What's happening now? Shining talking cat! Hello, Ossians. Explore the ancient realm that lies beneath the deep waters. While adventuring with Ossie, you can talk to him at any time to get additional information. Don't forget to pet him from time to time, alright? Yes. Now. Where? Ow, how are you so fast? Yes, let us pet first. No! Don't let those trifling things outside the windows interfere with our... We have work to do. What's outside the windows? I wanna... Oh, oh my god, look at it. That's cool! Do we have to fight one of them later? I kind of hope not. It looked too cool. I don't want to fight cool stuff. I can befriend them. Anecdota septentrulana. I'm not saying that right. <laughs> um, sure. There's no other book. Can't check now, anyway. A cutie! Cat! I want a cat! I wish I did more than the allergic! Wow, I don't bet a lot of people can live in a huge castle like this. But of course, not just people either. Hey, there we go again, saying creepy stuff with a straight face. I mean, he's. He? She? Is technically a cat? Um. So I guess they wouldn't fall under people. Oh, fret not. Surely here, such as yourselves, would dispatch any hidden ghosts or phantoms without breaking a sweat. Most likely. What's this? What an, exqui what an exquisite box. Seems like a music box of some kind. Still, it doesn't seem to fit in too well with its surroundings. Good eye. That is indeed a music box, but just as I have knowledge beyond ordinary cats, this music box has functions beyond most others. What can it do? Hmm, that did not cross my mind. Re regrettably, it does not have such a function, for now at least. <laughs> ah, amazing. Anyway, even those who lack any musical knowledge can freely operate the power of the symphony in this box. We will now have... You, we will have use for it later, I am sure. Huh? But isn't it because this symphony has gone all wacky that all the townsfolks folks turn into whatever they are now? But what if Luan presses the wrong button or something? The symphony here may also become chaotic. <laughs> sort of clumsy, clumsy club you take me for, Paimon. <laughs> they might uh, and become the source of all sin. Wait, what? What sins? Are you okay with your Luan? <laughs> and Aussie's like, hmm, you know more too. Peace now, you need not be so fretful. The symphony was mighty, beautiful, and glorious. An existence that shouldered the golden ideals. The golden rules. Always treat others as you wish to be treated, or whatever. It's kind of funny, because it, it's a rule that's existed for so long. Like, I read... For school once, like an ancient Egyptian text, and it basically had the golden rule in it, and I was like, wow. Humans aren't, un aren't that different, are they? <laughs> that it sows chaos upon the surface is a mere mishap of misalignment. The result of an evildoer's misusing great glorious power. But were it Luang, surely he would wield its power correctly. That's quite a lot of trust you're putting in, in us. It might be more accurate to say that I have no other option. I'm a mere cat at present, after all. Should I wish to make use of the music box myself, I might prove somewhat it might prove somewhat difficult. Wait, is this the person with the the white that we saw earlier in the vision? Like that they said looked like a statue? Because it does kind of have the colours of it. We have spoken this much. Now to put things 
to the test. Remember the strings we got to we got from the Remember the strings we got from the harp and the ruins? Those were, in truth, the scores on which the symphony was recorded. So like above ground? As long as you place a score in this music box, the box shall play its tune all its on its own. Ooh. Ah, that's so cute though. I kinda want one. Music boxes are so cool. And it's a ship! Locus Amoenus. It is said that the first terrestrial creatures emerged from the warm waters. Yeah. The lands then were fertile, producing all in abundance. The gifts bestowed by fate were so ample that it seemed as if the land itself had been specially prepared for them. A moving melody accompanies a swift ship as it cuts through the azure way. Azure way. The outlander gently Harp strings, telling his companion, until that day come. I don't know what else it said. Yeah, I kind of want the music box of this stuff now. He's so cute. Such a nice piece of thing to have. Does it have an end? Am I supposed to wait for something? Or do I just return when I feel ready? This is so peaceful though. So we have to like do the travel basically. Oh, that's a pretty tune. I was feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. Indeed. <laughs> it seems this box still functions. Well now, are we not safe? Wait, so you weren't even sure if it would work or not? Not completely. One cannot judge a bo book box by its cover. Do you not concur? I'm in just the feeling that you're not talking about the box at all. But never mind that. What should we do now? The chaotic symphony must be here. If we can locate it, we can retrieve the souls that have been taken from the townsfolk. Have a look around for starters. A reasonable judgment. If memory serves, this castle has a great many strange rooms. Perhaps they are worth investigating first. Also, the castle's central hall plays host to a mysterious stage. No more, no more plays shall ever be performed here. Okay. It was once an entrance to a deeper place underwater still. Where the power of the symphony yet lingers. We must go and check for any further anomalies there. Deeper still? Indeed. I wonder what awaits us there. Hey, now is not the time to leave us hanging, was he? There's a price... You're a surprisingly petty one, huh? Still, before the riddle may be solved, we must first find the clues that await us in the castle. Come on, let us away. Okay, but can we pet you first? The enigmatic symphony seems to be from a now de destroyed civilization. It can use the power to unleash two types of sound waves. Okay. Use the power of the symphony to resonate with entities that react to the power of music. Press to activate the right card. So I put it on an inside out. Sorry, give me a moment. <laughs> when I tried to put on the like do like button it up, I realized nope. This feels weird. There we go. Press to activate a pause sound wave and cause specific objects in the area to stop moving. Continuously hold to activate a play sound wave, which will cause objects to in the area to start moving or reactivate entities affected by a pause. 
Special musical notes float above objects again that can be infused by the power of the symphony. When they resonate with specific sound waves, the notes above them will also change. Not all objects that can be infused by music can resonate with different sound waves. Most of them can only interact with specific sound waves. Okay. In the Hall of the Sea King. Do I need to actually put it in my thing, maybe? I thought so, but I am not seeing it. So. Ah, maybe not. Continue exploring. When do we get to pet the cat? It is. Is it in this one? No, I'm just... I'm just blind, I think. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Supposed to be ah. Oh, you need use a lost grimoire. Well, that's cool. How do I pet you? Well, pet, pet, pet the cat. Ah, <gasps> I get to pet the cat. So not face. Nope. Cats have their own boundary. But this way. No? What about this one? Probably not. Hey, you're petting me way too much. I'm sorry. Okay. I will leave you to it. But just tell me where you want to be pet. So how do I get... I maybe those I need a PS I can force it. Nope. Nope, okay. I will continue exploring the place then. It would make sense for the books to no somewhere here. Like if there's a grimoire missing. Okay, not the music I anticipated, but sure. But you submit. It's such a cool idea though. What's on down here? I'm sorry, probably not supposed to be going here, but like I I wanna get the books. Oh. Catch the book! Catch the book! I did not catch a book. I caught a chest, which was not what I wanted. Whatever. I'll keep going. Where they want me to go. That's also a chest. Hello? I did not see that the first time. Up we go! There's supposed to be a shiny. Which probably means it's behind that book. Continue storing the fake fossil. Ooh. Ooh. No, that didn't give us anything. Let me get this at least. Oh my god, there's so much! 
Is this not where we're supposed to go? I don't know. <sighs> Look at that thing. It's a strange shiny fish again. Feels like it's been following us from outside all this time. How weird. Maybe it has. Is that the king? Simon, have you witnessed so little in the world as to find such things strange? Are we not underwater? I cry, Chris. Okay, Chris. How are you doing? How is your evening? Uh, <laughs> like now that the sun apparently decided to leave. Oh, hello. Hello again, Tezuk. I'm good. I'm uh, apparently yawning a lot today. <laughs> um, and a little bit clumsy, but I'm good. Yes, kitty. I am so excited to get to pet the kitty, but the kitty didn't like me petting it. So we'll see. Um, we are, on, are we not on the water? Is it not ordinary to see all manner of fish about? I'll see. I'll see, baby. Yes. Huh? Wait? What do you mean, wait? <laughs> but this big guy looks nothing like ordinary. And looks anything but ordinary. And this, it's vo this voice. I've heard it before. Ah, uh, I can f finish the cutscene and then I can put the kitty. Seriously? You mean from the dream you had before? Ah, uh, this is part of a sea... This part of the sea outside is like the castle. It belongs to the past. It's something that should have been forgotten. If one ceaselessly calls out that a monster that has been blotted from memory, they might just jump out and cause trouble. It is wise to be cautious. It is for the best if we simply treat it as an ordinary fish. It is also shining though. When I finish this world quest, I feed the kitty. I have motivation other than ma'am now, because <laughs> I'm guessing this is how I get, get to. The only spo spoiler you'll give me, I'm grateful. I, I I'm happy without spoilers. But yeah, um, ma'am is also one of the reasons why I'm doing this, because I'm guessing this is how I get the the boss for her. You make everything sound so scary, Elsie. Are you? Sh are you just trying to creep us out or something? I simply mean to avoid unnecessary complications. After all, our top priority is to retrieve the surface dweller's souls, no? It just so happens that there's a blank score before. We simply need to use the music box to tune the autumn... Do I have the stream element bot installed on Steam? Dream? I don't know, do I? That sends stuff? Or... <laughs> like, uh... How do you mean? I... Th there's... You can make a bunch of commands for me? That'd be cool. I don't know if I have it installed. I should probably do that if I don't. I check that. <laughs> I will, I will get to this. <laughs> um, just I'm gonna do that, and then we. I will uh, make sure. I will check if I have it installed after stream, and if I don't, I will install it because that'd be cool. Yes, please do. That'd be great. I would appreciate the help. <laughs> for now, quest. For now, kitty. For now, music. Uh, yes. We simply need to use the music box to tune the auto harmonic reed pipes on either side and we can obtain it. Good to go. An auto harmonic device built by. For now, OC! Yes. Yes. 
It's also so funny to me that I call him Aussie, like Aussie Osborne. Probably isn't what how you're supposed to say it, but me. A uh, device built by an ancient civilization obsessed with music. It must be tuned to the correct mode using the power of the symphony. As you hold and unleash play sound, hold and unleash play sound waves. The soundboard will keep sliding. It needs to cause it to point at a specific note. This will allow you to change the tuning. Once a set of harmonic, uh, auto harmonic reed pipes have been appropriately tuned, the note. <laughs> Yes. Uh, as, as to what the correct note is, you might be able to find clues nearby. So maybe that's the correct one? Whichever one that is. Secret locale of the ancient order. Well, that's a cool ass name. How do I use this? <laughs> do I need to actually press it somehow? <laughs> it's very pretty, but you're too lazy to explore. I feel that. I I do that often. Oops. No. Oh. oh. No need to quit. Just L square. But it's not doing anything. I don't How do I activate you? Help, Aussie. All you need to do to play music is activate the uh, both sides and break them to match nearby notes. So it should be maybe it's this the lower one. Look at the symbol and the light and light that symbol up on the page. Yeah, but like left one. It's not letting me like the uh. Oh my god, wait. Yes. I use R2, not L. And then it's the middle one. Yeah, sorry. It, it took me a while to see that I could do this. This one is... Hello. It's easier for iPad on iPad? I Sometimes I feel like it should be. You need to be on the second one. Why aren't you doing the thing? Switch. I, genuinely, I am so confused. Oh my god. It's just a long press on a touch screen. Maybe I need to hold it in. Oh, there we go. Lovely. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it.
Yeah, sorry, I got it now. It just... It took me a while. I got a new score, though. That score is blank. What? Go into this thingy? And play another one? <laughs> now, Ozzy. I was right to trust you. Yes, stop any moment now. Okay, but like, why do you enjoy being pet? Nope, okay. I will leave. I will stop. Continue exploring. I'm gonna look for books though. I want grimoires. Do I find a grimoire? Yeah, I'm sad the cat doesn't want my, my pet. Why would you not want pets? Oh! I can read stuff here. Uh, I already completely understand everything. Humanity has no need to, nor should they, control any knowledge beyond their abilities. I have to pause the grimoire. The, the thing that's flying in front of it, right? Now, maybe now I can do it. Now that I figured out... Ozzy was happy with your pets? What's wrong with me? I just want to make Ozzy happy. Okay. Uh, in a way, it's not that people who pursue knowledge, but knowledge that pursues people. Well, that's awfully scary sounding. Um, I have an idea. It's one I never mentioned to the Golden Hunter before. Give Ozzy snack. How do I give? That was only at the end, though. Um, why not rebuild the long-abandoned town of Petricor? We can attract refugees to live there, here, and spread other versions of the legend. This way, they will actively protect the rebuilt, rebuilt seals, and the secrets of the place will be forever. Interesting. Oh, that was a book, though. There. Where are you now? Did you go to? Yeah. <gasps> I got it. I ask of thee. Ah, I got a grimoire! Sorry. Grimoire. It's from an anime, and I'm like, every time I say Grimoire, I think of that anime, and I'm like, it's really. Yes. Stage of Faded Gold. Oh, so if I finish the underground. For like exploration and the other one, I get like 100%. Oh, uh, uh, the anime is um, Dance with Devils, it's ridiculous. It's a fantasy musical anime about demons and vampires, and I it's ridiculous. I, I watch it and laugh. <laughs> sometimes it's very creepy, sometimes it's very interesting. It's one of those shows that I enjoy. A lot, but I'm not sure I could um, recommend it necessarily. <laughs> um, the underwater area has a different exploration. Okay, noted. Is this the stage you spoke of earlier, Rosy? And are pylon signs deceiving her, or is the mural on top still moving? You're bored of vampires now? That's fair. It's kind of spooky. Sometimes. They can be a bit much. There's so many things with vampires. But to be fair, the vampires are the enemies. Yes, the, the demons are the main thing. And then there's a fallen angel as well. And like that kind of stuff. But yeah, typically speaking, the, the vampires are the enemy. That 
Replaying power couldn't be escaping from here, could it? Aussie? Hey, Aussie! Aussie! Are you spacing out? Ow? <clears throat> My apologies, I was distracted for a moment. Did you once perform on this stage? Is that when you're feeling, um, nostalgic or something like that? Perhaps you were an audience member. You believe me? <laughs> How nice, thank you. <laughs> oh, good point. I I might have, or I might not. It was all in the past either way. Utterly irrelevant. 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 Meow. Indeed. Meow. If it says meow, I'm gonna meow. I had a cat. <laughs> I used to meow when he meowed at me. What ma matters now is the sound of this discord I smell in the air. As though some presence, once one that makes me uneasy, once visited this place. Also, um, Chris, I am working on figuring out the whole um, Discord thing. Apparently, I hadn't done what I thought I'd done, so um, hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow or get the on Wednesday. But it should be coming soon. I just, yeah. I haven't made it a public group in the way I thought I had. <laughs> um... I mean, when when a cat meows at you, you kind of have to meow back. What are you gonna do? Oh no, I cut out for a bit. Sorry. Maybe I will move just a little bit forward towards where I know the Wi-Fi router is. Thanks. Oh, I'm not in the same room. <laughs> Oh, it's your Wi-Fi. Sorry. Still, it doesn't. It wouldn't hurt for me to be closer to Wi-Fi. Um, I fear that specifics may only be ascertained once we have performed the score here. There's one here too. That one didn't notice. Well, you may have seen scores shaped like strings, but you have not seen those shaped like murals. <laughs> one such is before you. Oh. So the pictures are moving because it's actually a score? Yes. Oh yeah, about the group? Yeah, so uh, apparently when I... The Discord group that I made, or that I transformed, I hadn't made it into like a proper group the way I thought I had. <laughs> so it was just kind of like still a private group that I put up a link to, which doesn't work in that way. I figured it out today, kind of, um, but I still need to fix a couple of things before I can um, add some more, you know, like, things to it and people, um, but yes. Yes, they were not find a blank score before. It's now time to perform it. Please do the honors. I mean, you are already the um, mod on it, so I think that's helping enough, but thank you. <laughs> Please do the honors. The honors. No, we're gonna get attacked, aren't we? Installed. You're a mod for a very popular Insta TikTok person here, so... Ah, you know what you're doing, in other words. That's very nice. Well, this is the person, but they're cracked. Um, and that's a nice thing to 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 do and to get. Oh, that'd be amazing! I'd love to, if you could show me that stuff because I'm like How does this work. I'm like trying to read through stuff and like stuff, and I was like, oh, there's a lot more to this than I thought there was. <laughs> um, so yeah. And not only do we have the same hardest skin, but in our veins flow the same divine essence. We share the same wisdom and melody, the same will. Whoa! Someone's coming out of the mural! Hello! That's creepy! Oh! I, I might. I might. I might just screenshot that. There. 
Lovely. Thank you. Um, it's been too long, dear friend. How many years since that day? Five hundred? Thousands? Still, time matters not to us at all. You may be in you may be in the small body now, but I recognize you in an instant. Well, have you tired of battle and decided to take up rat catching as a new hobby? Hey, it's an important thing. It's you. Um what is he exactly? A monster? Ghost? Or is he the real Dark Lord? Is he Voldemort? Or, honestly, he looks more like a statue. Dark Lord. <laughs> barbarians remain barbarians, I see. Ignorant even in their own ignorance. Pohetheus of Remuria, I am. Foremost. A harm most of four boasts. What is- what am I even saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I'm reading it. I'm like, what is this sentence? And you need not introduce yourselves. I have no interest in the titles of peddled- titles peddled by primitives. No, this rude fella, Ozzy. I do not deny it, but... Ohetheus. Need you be so formal, Cassidor? Cass? <laughs> this guy is just thinking, being a little bit. Yeah, probably, yeah. Do our years of service under the Sabastos, our god king, matter so little to you? The past is the past. I do not know how you, whose soul has long been shattered, have manifested. But it seems that the chaotic symphony is your doing, none other. Cease. Return the souls of those who live in the present, and go back to the shadow, beneath the deep waters, to where you belong. This is my final warning to you. Oh, and what then? Will you continue wearing your mask of hypocrisy, traitor? Will you shut your eyes and ears for another millennium? Have you- but you have noticed, haven't you? Why my melody would break its bonds at this time and effect. Why my strength has been has given me the might to open the gate to the deep water, allowing me to manifest. Your mask is seriously creepy, dude. The power of search. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, switch your laptop. All good. Um, the power of the sea serpents. Cassie Cassiodor. The return of Phobos is imminent. Phobos? Yes, indeed. Over these thousands of years, I have already bound my soul to the shattered Phobos. Is that why you're, you have cracks, all of you? The omniscient enigma, the great power, is about to finally descend once again. And is this not the wish that we once failed to accomplish? To repeat the past is to give the ancient tragedy an encore. Nor have I ever wanted to sacrifice innocent lives. Is that so? Well, not that it matters, Casidor. Casidor. The world you have defended is coming apart at the seams. The people of bygone times you see before you shall return to their rightful places. Fontaine's existence is a mistake. One we shall correct. When the oceans swallow it, Remoria shall rise above the sea one. And his light shall shine ab above the land. A uh, shine of the land. Is this because of the primordial sea? Do even by barbarians know of its existence nowadays? I mean, it kind of almost drowned us, so. You are the mistaken one. We should have assimilated into the new nation thousands of years ago. But it was you who warped, warped them into puppets of ancient hate. Whether that Phobos matter is true or false, as long as my will has not dissipated, your schemes will not succeed. Do you mean to say, then, that we shall abandon our honor as Remurians and de degenerate into mere base insects? How could I ever allow my kin to return to those bags of decaying flesh and become slaves to Fortuna once more? No fate. It seems that the millennia have not led you to accept Remuria's downfall. If anything, you have grown more obstinate still. 
perhaps it is it is our stubbornness alone that we are that we are quite similar. It is in our stubbornness. I thought that the long years would have rendered you willing one to once more stand by my side. You betrayed the tribe that birthed you. You betrayed Remuria. You may have become the golden hunter, but you cannot remove the brand of the Sebastos that marks you still. You will always be a Remuria. Remurians have long ceased to exist, saving your delusions. The world of old has passed away. Of course, of course. Or so it was meant to be. But now, the border between past and present faded. If you insist on becoming the enemy of our ancient realm and sealing me once more in a cage buried beneath the waves, then those Fontanians you wish to protect, yes, all of Petricor, shall be buried as one. No way. Why would let that happen? That is not up to you, insolent savage. Uh, yeah, the kind of words you don't want to be using about people. When that time comes, you lowly f your lowly flesh will be rendered as dust, but your souls will join it with ours and take the next step of evolution. You know... Like, oh my god, something. Um, uh, what was I trying to say? <laughs> right. You know, forcing someone to do your experience is very, experiments is very illegal. We shall bestow upon you eternal res resilient bodies that you may never again suffer mortal pain. Huh. Should you have words of gratitude, I will hear them. Why, thank you so very much. Your laptop conked off. <laughs> I love that that's the word you use, but yeah, that sucks. Uh, I, I get that. It's very annoying when things don't work the way they should. That's not something we'd be thankful for at all. Just like those puppets who, who danced as you performed. Those pitiable slaves and servants. Those poor children. Everything was stripped from them. And you still speak with such conviction. It's back. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Um, all things have their price. Narrow personal opinions are but refuse to be discarded by a higher class of beings than I. No. Just no. Do that. I just need to be restarted. Yeah, that's. I had to restart and update my computer before I started streaming today. Besides, as I see it, there are. There are the ideal forms of humanity, adhering unerringly to perfect order. You're absolutely nuts, and... and despicable, too! Despicable? Ha! Huh. And what would you call what Cassiodor did to us thousands of years ago, then? By comparison, this is nothing. Ah, uh, uh, but patience. We should have a good long talk, but not here, no. We shall speak beneath the deep waters, in the deepest bowels of our ancient realm, where everything began. You can't update the, your laptop anymore? Is it too old, or what, uh, what, why, why? It's that old? Got it. That's annoying, but at least it means you took good care of it. The realm of the awakens, Cassiodor. You are the sole survivor of our fallen. Who would like to join? Not right now. <laughs> um, you are the sole survivor of our fallen realm. The sole Remurian left with free will. You will have. You have left us for far too. Basically, join the collective unconscious, or just the collective consciousness, I guess. You must return to us and listen to the la lamentation and anger of It's from 2015. Yeah, that's quite quite a long time ago, indeed. It's uh, almost nine years old, damn. That's still well done for keeping it alive this long. Perhaps then you shall be more receptive to my symphony. 
and to the arrangement of Phobos. I will await you in the royal city of Remuria, in Domus Aurea, where the Sebastos plied his melody. Seven? I mean, if you bought it in 2017, yes, but I, I was thinking if it's a 2015 Mac, then yeah. True. But still. Uh, I will, of course, extend the appropriate hospitality to those souls from the present before your arrival. Should you still remain resolute when the time comes, their souls will naturally receive the release. And as for you, you are not part of Phobos' plan, and yet, the Great Symphony shall in no wise... shall in no wise cast out any audience. Do enjoy the passing prelude I have prepared for you. If fortune proves favorable, we shall meet again. Like when I clean my... yep. They came alive. Hello, little things. If I lean my head down, I can't do as <laughs> deep a voice. Um. So I end up like... If I do this, I end up doing like this a lot and my... my neck was starting to hatch, so I was like, okay, we have to do this now, even though it doesn't sound as cool. I don't know if it sounds cool to begin with, but me. <laughs> I will try my best anyway. Do the voices. Hi! You guys are quite annoying, aren't you? Oh my god, there are two more. Maybe if I don't go over there, they won't attack me. <laughs> Stay in this corner. Turn your laptop now. Nice. Very nice. I'm glad it works. No matter the age. It's just nice when things work out. Okay, are you gonna wake up now? Yeah. Let's connect you. Come over here. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I have the... I have... I have the... Ladder. Ah. With me, but maybe I should get Ito too. But I wanted... I wanted Mam on the team! <laughs> for selfish reasons. But maybe it'll be easier for myself. To... forget. Mm, it works for, like, internet stuff and... Uh, Uh, like browsing and words and stuff. That makes sense. But like my Ito, or no, my Ito is fine. Uh, Ma'am is still uh, too low level because I haven't done this yet, right? So uh, the the sound went way higher. I feel like she's like level forty. I think this is where I unlock where I can get her, get her like leveling up stuff, right? Through completing this quest. Um. So, as much as I'd like to use her, it's not really possible. I just have her there for looks. <laughs> I will let Mam rest. Well, let's shut them up. What do we do now, though? 
And if you want to save the souls of the townspeople, you're gonna have to head to that Dumas Adial, whatever that super rude, du duper aggregate guy talked about, right? Yes, let's go to the donuts. As you might recall, they weren't invited. Then when have we ever needed invitations to crash some bad guy's party? That's true. And if a bad guy doesn't want you to come, that's kind of... I don't need to do any more of the quests to, to get to the level up materials? Alright. Oh, well, what? but from what he said, it seems to have known Aussie for a long time. He said they worked for the Sebastos or whatever. Ah, I just need to unlock the, the underground area. Wait then. We need to have a good talk before we go. Cassiodor? Cassiodor? If you have anything you'd like to ask me, this time I shall tell you all I know. Tell us about Remuria. Ooh, I, I think I'll, I'll try and level up uh, after this cutscene then. Nice. Um... That's where you and that rude fellow are both from, right, Ozzy? We've heard that name before. It seems to be an ancient nation. Very well. The story begins before the court of Fontaine, as you know it was born. As you know it was born. Uh, the Sebastas, Remus, founded a nation above the high sea that is Fontaine. And the ancestors of the present-day Fontaineans named him the Dark Lord Remus of their terror. Before it sank, this body of water was part of the Great Font Fontaine Lake, and the location where the capital of Remuria was sited. As such, these waters have the same pr properties as those of Fontaine. You'll be my Paimon? Aww. You'll be my sidekick, my guide? Thank you. Wait, so... We're actually in the ruins of Lemuria now? Indeed. But where the tale differs from commonly told history is... The people of Remuria were not ordinary humans like Fontania. Rather, they were a new race. Their bodies were cast of stone, with ichor for blood. The Sebastas gave us such bodies in the hope that we could escape our prisons of rotting flesh and fate. That's a line and a half. His great vision was that we should all grasp the power of the symphony and thereby escape the shackles of Fortuna, becoming the masters of our own destiny. So those stone statues we saw on the way here, those were your gym? Precisely so. I feel that they have long lost their free will, however, becoming mindless slaves, worse off by far than the humans of old, easily perishable though they are. Wait. In that case, why are you a cat? <laughs> Fair question. I am a cat for now. And one's will and soul are more important than one's body. Are they not? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. I don't have a I don't have my uh, anything open though for now, so I'd have to like restart all my browsers. <laughs> I close it when I when I go on uh, stream, so it takes less memory. Um, regardless, it was it was the Sebastos who gave me new life. We once possessed all of the high sea, countless cities and palaces, flowers, flowing wine, and yet fate found us all the same. After returning from the deepest depths of the sea. The Sebastas used Ica to create imperishable bodies for the people, and still, the prophesied future did not change. A good king believed that it was because human souls could not escape the gravity of fate, and so he wrote the symphony, a music that could weave destiny. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Maybe afterwards, though, once I've, like, heard everything off and stuff. Um, but it would be fun. Um, he believed that through this he had found a way to resist fate, but instead that path led him us into utter darkness, step by step. And in the end, the entire kingdom sank beneath the waves, as though it had been smote by divine judgment. Is that really the past tense of smite? 
smote smote smoten <laughs> then no i don't know no i feared that he, even he did not foresee such an outcome oh, though all the same that is what happened if you have anything you'd like to ask me this time i shall tell oh yeah tell us about your impudent friend right and he called you Cassiodor or something, right? But aren't you called Oran? Or uh, something. Just as I have traversed many bodies, I have had many names. Of course, this is all thanks to the Sebastas, who separated my soul from the Grand Sum. Oh, you're eating biscuits? That's so nice, though. What biscuits are you having? Uh, yeah. A convenient ability indeed. But back to Boethius. He was not always evil. He was once a noble Harmost of Remuria, and the sole survivor following the great catastrophe that befell. The original purpose of the Golden Castellum was to unify our surviving kin, to prevent the catastrophe of the rising waters from ever occurring again. But evidently, Boethius had his own design. Bourbon biscuits? Is as in bourbon as in the alcohol, or is that just what they're called? Like, because I'm thinking of, I, I, I'm getting an image in my mind, but I, I don't know if I'm correct. That is all the signs. Uh, while I had, while I and my companions raged across the land, ranged? Uh, yeah, uh, struggled mightily contain the power of the primordial waters he used his eloquent tongue to sway those who remained also can i just look at my very pretty uh teapot today i went very fancy instead of the very big one <laughs> it's smaller but it's very nice um he initiated a fell, fell ritual that aimed to restore the shattered symphony and revive Revive the ruined realm. I can't speak today, genuinely. To this end, he did not hesitate to dissolve the will of our kin and plunder the souls of Antanian's enemies. Many rules and nobles became his pawns, and Paul. Polities. Polities? I feel like I'm not reading that right. <laughs> Newly born lay on the brink of destruction. To stop him, who had by now clearly become a monster, I could only forsake my name and become one who hunts phantoms. Danny Phantom! You became Danny Phantom! Or Ghostbusters! Resisting him alongside the Fontanians. Bitter was the conflict before we were able to were at last able to seal both him and the seed that had devoured our nation. And that's why he names you traitor. I followed the Sebastas the precisely because they had shown me the golden dream, a land where prejudice and difference were no more, a land of justice and But that was what it had become after Remuria sank. No more than a dream. I would rather be called a traitor than let Boethius trample our ideal. I swore upon fate that I would serve as the barrier between past and present. Thus did I become the spirit keeper of our ancient. Yes, Mr. Impolite. Pretty stubborn guy, huh? Even after being beaten up and sealed, he's still looking to break out and cause trouble. Huh. Huh. Sorry. I thought that even if the evil lingered in him, his soul had long been broken, and he would remain naught but a dis discordant notes. Symphony plunged into strife. I never thought that he would weave his shattered self into the symphony and thus gain mastery of the discord and dissonance that now emanates from these waters can be regarded as an extension of his power. I am absolutely reading that once I'm off this. Because <laughs> again, I don't have any browsers open. Um. Regardless of an extension of his powers, yes. If we are to defeat him, I fear we must await the moment 
when all his soul fragments his soul fragments have gathered around one body. I cannot read today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it doesn't You missed my teapot? Wait. Look at my pretty teapot. It's a very pretty one. I got it from my grandpa, who apparently won it um, um, by playing cards. Um, I have never met him. He died before I was born, but I have his teapot. And I have like the... the so fancy, yes. Um, I have the like the, the cups and everything, plates for it too, so sometimes I get really fancy and I have like afternoon tea with that stuff. Very nice to do. Um, but yes. Let's hear about the Symphony of Phobos. It looks like it would be from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, honestly, more than Beauty and the Beast, I think of uh, Black Butler. Um, one of my friends pointed it out. That especially looks like one of the ones from the, the musical. Where should I even begin? The symphony is the human memory and persona woven into a melody through musical notation, creating a song in which human souls can dwell and have their wishes fulfilled. In that way, to master the symphony is to master fate. This is a secret that the go great golden bee? The golden bee. Zzz bee? Is that what we're talking about? The golden zzz bee? Because <laughs> I think I'm fine without that. Sibylla. That's a, that's a character from mythology, isn't it? The prophet who survived a previous cycle and parted. The Sebastos who created the symphony poured these melodies into the insoluble Ica. Yes, that does be. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, I poured water on my controller. Wait. Get the, the emergency tea towel. <laughs> And yes, I have an actual towel that I use for tea because I spill too often to not have one. <laughs> yes, I'm clumsy today, especially today, but like in general also. <laughs> um, pour these melodies into the insoluble, insoluble, insoluble Ica, in hopes that it might control their own fates through playing that music. He overestimated us, I fear. For his deeds terrified us. The people could not bear the burning burden of fate, and they begged their god and superiors for guidance. Yeah. Right. At the request of the people, the Sylvester's wrote all melodies into the grandest of melodies. This new symphony would bring us all the greatest of happiness, and it, its name was Phobos. Was it? It's like... Am I wrong with thinking that it might be related to phobias? The root of the word, anyway. But um, I, I don't. I need to do some research about this. I don't know. But it did not bring what it was promised. Indeed, you saw how it all ended, didn't you? Had the Sebastus plan worked, the symphony would have woven a melody of utmost gentleness for us all, an eternity that would last a thousand years and beyond. Something went wrong. Besides, the Sebastus himself only said, only said superiors, the Harmosts could have changed Phobos's melody. And Boethius was once an excellent Harmost. If you have any, no. yes, about the dreamscape, I saw. You tell this strange dream you had before. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Those were indeed the memories left by he whom, whom I served, the Bastos, the god King Remus. I thought I, though I do not understand how you were able to see them, Noan. But I do not think you need to worry. If this chaotic symphony was enough to control you, it would have done so long ago on the surface. But that has not happened, yes. No, because we have the, a will to rival the world or whatever it is. Hmm, speaking of which, why isn't S D evicted? Is he just, um, especially gifted? 
I do have some idea, but it might be best to wait for the right time to speak of that. Is he, like, related to the king or something? Like, an ancient, like, a long, long descendant or something? Oh, here we go again with the cliffhangers. Just don't forget to tell us, alright? In any case, since you can see... Th since you can see this thing is Luan, that means that some fragment of the Sebastian's will and memory remains in the, this underwater symphony. Long millennia have I searched. And if you could touch something more than these memories, perhaps I may find the answers I have sought all this time. The great waves could not hurt a god, even should their crests scrape the very skies. And yet, the Sebastos disappeared without a trace when our nation fell into the depths. He would not have sat idly by as his nation and people drowned in blood. So where did he go? Or was his passing Ramurias through wait, or was his passing Ramurias true death? No. I think you say that I think you pronounce that no. Okay, we are done. That was the last one. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the story a little bit longer and then probably end it for today and then I can then I can make um yes we had hiding heading down to the donut next so we can meet that root guy right that'd be dangerous for sure but I will continue to guide you it is, after all, my homeland, though it may have sunk to the very bottom of the sea. I remember its path still, even after all these millennia. Yee! Or so I believe. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, I have to go with the cat, with the pun. And yeah, just also so I will um, try and... Uh, stream tomorrow too, so I'm gonna not do super long today. I'm very close to the boss I need for Anakina. Ooh, very nice. Okay, good. Keep going then. Uh, we should in should we encounter difficult D difficulty? You may depend on me. Do not forget that I am far stronger than an order. Are you the cat from Captain Marvel? You know, every time Paimon remembers that you're actually an ancient person from... from... This quest is, is quite all, long. Noted. I will try and... I mean, I'll try and stream most evenings. We'll see how it goes. How long it will take me to get to the end of it. And you're actually an ancient person from thousands of years ago? Goose! Yes, Goose! That's a name, thank you. Yes. Are you Goose? Because Goose is also weirdly, weirdly powerful for a cat. That's not a cat. It just feels wrong that we're calling you Aussie. But your full name is way too long, so... Okay. Let's just call you Monsieur... Monsieur Oss. Oss, then. What do you think? Is it polite enough? A name to me is nothing more than a label. But as this represents your acknowledgement, Paimon, I will gladly accept it. In f I should be able to finish it in 4.5 hours in total with breaks. Great. It shouldn't be too super long then, left. Because I've almost done 2 hours now. And also... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, th this reminded me of, weirdly again, Shakespeare, but with a what's in a name, that which we call a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. <laughs> Let's move out. It wouldn't be too bad to keep your root raid waiting, but the townspeople can't wait that long. True. We do want to keep him waiting, but not them. We'll do this for now. Oops. I will get the himbo. For now. Are we going into this thing? 
once you pass head to the bygone area, so the eras, the place, whatever. Ah. Ooh, we're swimming again. <laughs> Ancient engravings. By order of Dominius Bohetius exalted Harmos and in accord in, in accord with the I cannot read what's happening. And in accord with the most sacred beneficent symphony of our great Sebastos, initium I went to remove yeah. Um then the Nishumiani are to be shut from today on. No one enters and no one leaves. From the Empire for our God King, for human civil. Oh. oh, look at that thing! Can we follow it? Strange flowing fish! There's a shiny here. Where's the shiny? Shiny supposed to be here somewhere. Where art thou shiny? Oh. Sneaky sneaky. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so nice to like when you can go like this and you don't necessarily need to like I love that the cat is swimming with us. Um like we don't necessarily need to like bigger because then I can actually like oh it's being bound bound by somehow. Because um, then I can actually look around at like the environment in a different way as well. Wow, just looks just like that glowing fish we saw earlier. Oh, I'm kidding. There are still weird things tangled around the top nearby. What the heck is going on? I'm getting more and more confused. I've heard this voice in a dream before. Before. I don't remember his name anymore though. Yes, you you must have met him in the Sebastos dream, didn't you? Skilla? A fell dragon who wants- oh no. <laughs> huh? Is there super rude to subdued an evil dragon? Why would you think you could do something that amazing? Well, fell dragon was the name they gave, but it was no no more than a wish- wish hat that, w that had a- that was a tiny bit stronger than normal. After all, no new Hydro Dragon could be born so long as the mist of many waters hibernated in the deep sea. Does that mean we could technically get more dragons? And that means... Nouvellet... How old is Nouvellet? Speaking of which, isn't Nouvellet... That's right! Nouvellet's the Hydro Dragon, isn't he? That doesn't mean that this guy's a older than him, even him, does it? A new dragon of water has already been born. Then again, it has been a long time since even the former mistress of water has passed. So much time has passed. In any case, the evil dragon Scylla was once the Sebastus' friend. Julie is 500 years old. He is not that old then, like in Genshin terms. Because like isn't that almost as like Nahida is four hundred, yeah, right? So and she's the youngest of the the Archons. But like for like ancient beings, old beings, it's like fairly recent recent. Uh, but he revolted at, at a crucial juncture in the showdown between Remurians and the Montanians. At the time, Skulla... Skulla... Yeah, he's a teenager? Amazing. Now I can't imagine, like... 
No, all I can imagine is like, you know how, like, Novelette is like a very, like, quiet person and like, quite moody. He's just in his emo phase in his teenage years. And he does also 500. Great. Thank you. Yeah. How are the two of them the same age? When you look at them. Anyway. No, do we let this now just an emo boy? This is my headcanon. Um, at the time, Sk Skillan led the brutal dragon born to Nakimot. Intent on breaching the inner city, Capitolium, where the Sebasta resided. Pretty nice, likely older than Nahira, but maybe closer to 600 ish? Interesting. So she's a bit older than um, Novelette, too. That's kind of fun, though. Yeah, the people in town were always talking. Yeah, the people in town were always talking about them. Makimos and the bell tower or something. Correct. Makimos is the outer city of the capital. But should the fell dragon wish to enter the city, he must pass through the Initium Iani. Uh, that is the barrier separating the inner. Oh my god, yes. Early 20s. Calling for the Delph. I'm here for that headcanon. Yes. I still like the TV. Why, why is Lee going to jail when he was a teenager? I still haven't gotten to his backstory. That's really interesting. Um. That is the barrier separating the inner and outer parts of the capital. And the symphony weaved between the Sebastas and the musicians, which covered all of Remuria, passed through the Nishium Iani and, and its golden waterways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bohethi Bohethius and his legions used this fact to shut the Nishium Iani, thus finally sealing the evil dragon. Bohethius. Uh, okay. Something's not right about that story. The dreamscape from before. Back then. Skilla should have come and seen Remus before. Perhaps, perhaps Skilla sought to go before the Sebastas' throne. But such an opportunity is now forever lost. Afterwards, the evil dragon, dragon sank alongside Remuria. And the Sebastas too was lost, remaining so to this very day. Did you recall something, Luan? It all feels a bit muddled. That is true. I only hear heard tell of events after it all transpired myself, having not been in the capital when this, the disaster struck. Then, none knew just what had happened to the Sebastas. I fear that we can only learn more by proceeding further. The large glowing fish that we saw in the castle must be the thoughts that escaped from fishes in the Phyllis stone cell. I fear he has already taken notice of our presence, having been sealed here for so long that now that he's finally sensed outsiders, he will naturally find a way to lure us in. So that's it. Hang on a minute. You said that the way to Domus the donut the way to the donut is through those gates or something. But hasn't Bohe Boethius shut them already? Doesn't this mean that there's no getting through? This will prove quite tricky, yes. Ah, uh, there's gotta be a limit to how rude you can be. What's with the, the, this I'll wait for you at the donut mwahahaha nonsense when you won't even leave the door open, huh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> mom. You know... Why don't we find some way to break the seal on the evil dragon and get the former foe he beat to break the door down for us? That's a kind of a fun, like, plan, honestly, but if it turns out bad- Oh my god, the cat's swimming in the background. What is happening? <laughs> Why is the cat back there? <laughs> I thought it was, like, right next to us. Anyway, um... In worst case scenario, we get two people we need to fight. Ozzy's just vibing in other places. Like, now we're here two cats. Like, look. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Just vibing in two places at once, as you do. No, how could we do such a thing? I mean, after that is one of Remuria's nemesis. But the enemy of my end is my friend, no? It's a bug. Yeah, I know it's a bug, but that's why it's funny. <laughs> I like the bugs. The bugs are fun. Um, That's right. It's been so long. For all you know, he might have decided to turn over a new leaf and be a nice dragon. Yeah, that seems like something you do from being imprisoned. But he's still a dragon. Eh, come on. So what? If he's a dragon, he might be the reasonable kind we can talk with. We've got experience dealing with dragons, don't we? Go on. Oh yeah, I need to read someone. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. I need to also figure out how I do that, but yes. Um... We do have in indeed have some uh, experience dealing with that dragon. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. There was the time with Bali, or the time with Ashtaha. Flash raid person. Ooh, okay. Will do. Um, I feel like these are both dragons we've just fought. We have dragons that are friends. We'd go with Dwalin. Yep. It's where you kicked up a Stohan monster while well, under the influence of a curse. We had a big fight because of it, too. Oh, those exam the examples weren't very convincing, were they? No. Come on, OC. No amount of suspicious looks is gonna suddenly give us better options. <sighs> I know, you're right. Let's give it a try. The seals that bind the evil dragon seem to be connected to three locations. Let us begin by removing the chains in those three places. Will do. However, maybe not tonight. Is this... Least... <gasps> Look at them! Please don't attack me, you're so cool! I just want to swim around with you. We can be friends. Like... No. No. <laughs> That's a bit buggy too, though. What what happened? Swaying eels. When all their heads are sticking out, press to unleash a paw some way and cause them to be unable to duck back into falling to, falling to the melody. <laughs> That's fun! Oh, uh, but also, I want to follow the thing. Look at this. How cool is this? Ooh, maybe I will. Aha, look at this cool thing. Can we be friends, please? Like, I love the free willy. Uh, as a kid. But, um... Uh... So I'm 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 a bit partial to this this kind of friendship chips. I want one. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna end in here today though. See if I can uh, maybe chill some before I off to bed since I need to get up at the it's high. But friend shaped, such friend shaped. Uh, da -da. Slash. Wait. That. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. <laughs>
Yeah, it doesn't actually... Read a channel. We do the channel. No. <laughs> Uh wait. We will figure this out somehow. <laughs> it's saying no matches. Invalid username. Even though I copied it. The sound those turns on. No, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. No, browse. Ah! <laughs> Close me. Um... It's okay if it says no matches. It's because they aren't in chat. Okay, we'll try then. Because it's just telling me it's an invalid username. We'll try that then. Nope. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Can I do it from this then? Go to video producer. Go to stream manager. Uh, it's my own rules. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's in chat. How do it raid? There we go. Okay, I got it. It, the slash command should work for me, but apparently it doesn't, but I found a way to do it, so here we go! It's also the first time I'm raiding someone, so yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for today as well, so yeah, it was really fun, and yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks also for the help, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, apparently I have to go into the- on the browser. Okay, let's go then. Hey. But it doesn't let me go there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How are you stream? Yay, I'm here. Okay, I'm turning this one off then. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>